Hello everyone, Punch Nuts here. I'm going to give you my opinion on what mechanics should be kept in Assassin's Creed Victory from Assassin's Creed Unity. Here. We. Go. Right now we're going to start with a free run-in in Assassin's Creed Unity. I thought the free run-in was really smooth and I felt like I can climb on anything. And that was because it took place in a gigantic city and with all the detail to put into the buildings, you can pretty much climb anything instead of the straight lines, walls, straight lined walls, whatever. Straight walls with no detail on them, just, you know, one color. So yeah, besides that, it was smooth and I felt like... I could climb on anything like an actual assassin. Now I didn't forget the downwards free running mechanic that was introduced first in Assassin's Creed Unity. In my opinion, it, had, it was a great addition to the Assassin's Creed franchise. It was easier to get down from buildings and it was easier to get onto obstacles like poles for example on the way down from buildings. So yeah, it was a great addition to the game because in the other games it was really hard to get down from buildings. I mean, the only possible way to do that was jump off from the buildings, but you would risk dying if you did that. It was easier to get down from buildings, like I mentioned previously two seconds ago. You pretty much jumped off buildings in the, the last games. And yeah, it was way easier to get down, and it felt more natural and a lot better. And it was easier to get onto obstacles like poles, for example, on the way down from buildings. That's something I like. You just aim the joystick to a pole once you're going down a building and Arno will go on to that. And it's a lot easier and it's really fluid and I love the downwards parkour and I hope it returns in Assassin's Creed Victory. So now we're going to get to the combat. In my opinion, it is easy to dodge. It is hard to see others about to attack you from behind. You should be able to hit someone if they have their gun out at least once. It's good that phantom blade darts take many hits to kill an enemy, and it is hard to dodge gunshots half the time. So yeah, it is hard to see others about to attack you from behind. Um, yeah, so when you're fighting an enemy and then someone comes up from behind you, um, it is hard to see them because by the time you're able to dodge them, they're, they're going to hit you. And when you are finding the other enemy, when you can't see the other one behind you, uh, it focuses on Arno and the enemy. I don't think it focuses on many at the same time, from experience. So yeah, it's hard to do that, and I hope they fix it. So it is easy to dodge. Once the enemy is about to hit you, there's a bar above the screen uh, where the health is. And uh, thank god it takes many hits to kill enemies in this game. It's not like the other ones where it took like one hit or two and you could just dodge attack everyone. Um, yeah, so when they're about to hit you, the bar above their head turns orange and then um, it turns yellow after a certain point. So when you push B, which is the dodge button for me on the Xbox, um, when it's orange and you push the dodge button, you will uh, dodge them, but you won't do anything else. They'll, I think they'll still attack you. But when you hit B and dodge them when the bar is yellow above their head, then you'll dodge and attack them, and then you'll be able to... Well, okay, you'll dodge, and then you'll hit them, and then you'll be able to attack them. So it's easier that way. So I think it's really simple to learn, and it's really easy to attack enemies. It is easy to get onto... Oh, crap, sorry, that was a... I have a whole list here, so it's going to be hard for me to find what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah, if they have their gun out... You should be able to hit them at least once. Yeah, so someone had their gun out when I was playing earlier, and then I hit them, but then all of a sudden they had their sword in their hand and dodged me. And I'm like, how the hell is that possible? 
I mean, if anything, they should at least let me be able to hit them once. It's just more realistic and makes more sense instead of, you know, dodging me. Automatically have the sword in their hand. What happened to the gun? I don't know. It's good that the fan blade darts takes many hits to kill an enemy. Yes, because um, it makes sense. I mean, they know you're, you're about to hit them with a dart. So I think they can take more than one dart to the chest. But for the head, maybe if you aim really quickly, you'll um, kill them instantly. I haven't tried it myself in combat, because uh, I probably would have died if I took the time to do that. But in a way, <laughs> um, yeah, it's hard to dodge gunshots half the time, because you can't see when they're about to shoot you. I mean, there's like a line on the bottom of, or on the chest of Arno, where it shows all the enemies around you and stuff. I mean, I don't see that half the time for some reason and it's like there's a square with a um aim gun aim symbol on it and uh, it turns like flashes red when they're about to shoot you but the problem with that is if there are no enemies around you you can't really dodge it at all if there are enemies around you you can dodge it all you have to do is push a but when no enemies are around you at all then um, you can't do that for some reason, and it's really annoying because you just have to take the shot, and if you have a low health, then you're going to die, so there's nothing really you can really do about it. Um, when you're climbing buildings, it does get annoying because you try to like scatter over the building and stuff like that, and most of the time, they shoot you, and it gets really annoying. And yeah, I hope they fix that kind of mechanic and mechanic in Assassin's Creed Victory. Now we're going to get to the stealth, and I had a lot of mixed feelings about it, so, I also have a lot of things I want to talk about, so it's going to be a couple of minutes here. Hard to spot enemies on roofs. Yeah, so when I'm trying to take out a target, say, there's a lot of enemies on the roofs, or when I try to take out a target, it's like that one guy on the roof that spots me instantly when he gets a glance at me when I'm like a mile away. Um, yeah, and then I, I just don't know where he is, he just comes out of nowhere. And it's really annoying cause if I want to use stealth and not be seen. He just spots me from a certain point and then I'm just like, who spotted me? And then it was a sniper. And the thing about the snipers too is that they kill you in one shot, so... Yeah. <laughs> the kill animation fits where you are facing the target. Yeah, so... I don't want to explain this without showing you, but... You know, if Arno is behind a guy and assassinates him he stabs him from behind when he's on the side he stabs him like the neck when he's in front of him he stabs him in the chest kind of thing so it's really cool i mean it's there's more to that in different angles when you're about to kill someone I mean, it's really cool too how arno assassinates someone while he's moving so yeah i think that's pretty cool last known position marker helps to know where the enemy last saw you yes so like in the Splinter Cell games, they brought it over to Assassin's Creed, and um, it helps me and probably many others to figure out where the enemy last spot you so we can easily get around them and assassinate them. But the thing about that is once they are alerted of your presence, even if, uh, you know, like, um, how do I explain this? Um, when they say lost sight of you then they go back to their duties and but if you try to assassinate them before that happens then it won't happen you'll just start attacking them which i think is kind of stupid um you should be able to assassinate someone if they are only seeing you for a couple seconds yeah so say i assassin say there's two guys and then i assassinate this guy in front of him say they're talking and uh then, the, of course, the enemy that's talking um, spots me because um, Arno only has one hidden blade. So, I think um, when enemies spot you, uh, there's a red, or a red square sorry, above the head that um, appears showing that they spotted you. So, I think that, that should flash, and then when it stops flashing, uh, you start to attack them, but when it, when it's flashing, um, you should be able to assassinate them, because it kind of gets an <clears throat> annoying. Um, yeah, but there is a double assassination skill, so that may or may not really matter. All depends on what Umisoft wants to do. 
Um, bombs help a wall to distract or blind enemies. Yes, so bombs are pretty much the core of stealth, in my opinion. I um, mean, you can use bombs to distract people. You can use bombs to blind people to get easily get away. One thing to hate about the smoke bombs, though, is that once you use it, it's easy to get away. But if you bump into anyone on the way, then they automatically spot you, and it's pretty much useless. For the distraction bomb, um, the cherry bomb, I believe it's called. I've only used it once, but there were like it was a small house and a small room. There were like five guys, so I think it was pretty much worth it when I threw it across the room, and then I assassinated them all of them. So it was pretty cool. So I think the cherry bomb was useful. Um, you should be able to assassinate someone right behind another enemy looking the other way. So, yeah, when there's a guy and then another guy in front of him looking the other way, I assassinate the guy and then he automatically spots me. So I think it kind of makes sense due to the sounds that it takes to assassinate when the guy screams and then... The blade enters the bo the blade enters the body. It makes sense, but it gets annoying. So is there a call on that one? Um Give a little bit more time for an enemy to spot you due to how far away you are to them. So yeah. Say snipers for example, I am like um a hundred feet away from them, say. And um or sixty, fifty about maybe. It should take them a little bit longer for them to spot me due to, um, just because, <laughs> just make it a lot easier, because for me it takes them like a glance for them to spot me and it gets annoying. Um, the phantom phantom blade darts, useful to get further away targets. So yeah, yeah. So um, to do that though, is um, you have to get them in the head. If you shoot them in the body. Even if they don't, uh, if they haven't spotted you, then it takes more darts, which I think is kind of stupid. I think they should, um, if the enemy hasn't spotted you, I think you should be able to, to, uh, shoot them with a the dart anywhere in the body and they should die instantly. But that's just my opinion. Um, it's cool that enemies can also see you from a certain height and it also gets annoying, their call. So yeah, it's Ubisoft's call on this one, but, um... It's, I think it's cool how enemies can see you from a certain height. It makes sense. But in a way, to me, it gets annoying. Because there are, say, like a lot of enemies in the area. You have to like stay up high and stuff. But, um, you know, when I want to get down on the ground, it's uh, they see me from like halfway up the building. So, yes, yeah, so they're calling that one. But overall, the stealth, um, the stealth is pretty good in Unity. They just need to fix a couple things that I mentioned, but it's also their call, so yeah, hopefully Victory's stealth is a lot better and a lot more fun. This one's going to be short, but the looting mechanic in the game, I think, takes an appropriate amount of time to loot an enemy. So yeah, it takes about maybe 5 to 7 seconds to loot an enemy. No, 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 that, no, that is way too long. I totally jacked up on that. More like three seconds, but um, yeah, I think it takes a appropriate amount of time once you look at the circle, and then as it slowly goes around, I think it takes an appropriate amount of time. Instead of like Assassin's Creed 4, it takes like one second to loot someone. I was like, eh, Unity has a little bit more realistic looting system to their game. Now the last one, the lock picking skill. It is a good mechanic, you just need to train yourself to click the button in time. So there's like a blue circle or a uh, blue rectangle on this line and you have to get this um, white line I believe in the blue circle it all depends on the lock difficulty the about the how big the blue rectangle is where you have to click just in time to get it in I figured out that you have to do it uh, a little bit before the line reaches the blue rectangle and you'll be good but overall, the lock picking skill is pretty good. It's just um, once you on the skills chart, once you get to like, um, once you upgrade to like rank three of the lock picking skill, um, 
it's easier to to do the lock, lock difficulty three um lock doors oh my god i'm sorry i'm just losing it right now it's easier to do locked doors lock picking level three but um they're still pretty small and i wish they did a little bit like one more skill to do a little bit higher with uh make the rectangles higher bigger whatever on the doors I'm just this is really confusing but whatever i hope the lock picking skill is uh, a little bit more fixed in victory anyway guys this is probably a long video and I've gone through like everything I can possibly think of the mechanics from Assassin's Creed Unity that I want in Assassin's Creed Victory and don't want in Assassin's Creed Victory. So anyway, what do you guys think about my opinions and the mechanics in Assassin's Creed Unity? Leave your questions in the comment section down below. Please subscribe for more Assassin's Creed videos and I'll see you guys later. And don't forget to leave a like.